this. Someday maybe we can make out, like in junior high school, like, like, I like making out, almost as much as fucking, well, almost. I miss having a boyfriend, like in junior high school, holding hands, kissing, sending love letters. When me and my boyfriend finally started having sex, it all went downhill from there. When I first started having sex, that entire first year, I never came. I never had an orgasm. All my friends bragged about how great sex was. I'm like, what's the big deal? What's this all about? It's no big thing. What are they all talking about? Then I got a different boyfriend, and I finally came. Now I can squirt. Just like in those porno movies. I had a girl for the first time just last week. It was right here in the Champagne Lounge. This married couple came in here. They both wanted to take me inside the Champagne Lounge. She wanted to have sex with me, and he just wanted to watch. So we did it, me and her. He just sat there on the couch watching us. Well, I don't did you eat her out or something? Uh, sure I did. She had one of those chubby pussies, but I, but I like that kind of thing. After a while, he asked me if he could join in. I said, no, 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 because we're not supposed to be having sex, not even the champagne lounge, and I don't want to get fired. Where is the most unusual place you ever had sex? Well, you know, all the usual places. The backseat of a Chevy Nova parked in front of Veselka's Ukrainian restaurant on 2nd Avenue. The ladies' room of the Bar Barramundi on Ludlow Street, twice. The Sands of Jones Beach, Memorial Day, and again, 4th of July. I'm very patriotic. The swimming pool of the San Juan Hilton during scuba diving instruction. Black leather banquet at Nell's Dance Club. In a sex club in front of an orgy full of masturbating voyeurs. A Methodist church choir loft. The old Huguenot Cemetery in New Rochelle. The Rufus King Homestead Cemetery in Jamaica, New York. And behind the Auburn Mattis statue on College Walk in Columbia. You know, the usual. But for the truly unusual, on stage, in a theater, as part of a performance piece. It was production during an event at Collective Unconscious, the space. It was called Sexy September, back in 2003. It was listed in Time Out New York. It was billed as Big Mike Among the Girls. Well, I licked my performance partner's pussy during the act, with everyone in the audience watching us. She was pretty pissed off afterwards. How could you make me do that? You knew I was drunk? Well, quite frankly, I didn't. Though, of course, she had been drinking, but she was always drinking in those days, and she was uh, the one who asked me to in the first place. She initiated. She goes to the audience, Hey, who wants to see Big Mike eat my pussy? And the crowd went nuts. I mean, what was I supposed to do then? I only gave the people what they had demanded. I was under the impression that she was enjoying it. I guess I was merely deluding myself. Turns out, the production crew for this porno film company, Black Mira, was also in the audience. The producer, Joe Gallon, approaches me, hands me his business card, he goes, Well, we're filming a new feature right here in this theater next week. Why don't you swing by the set? Don't forget to bring your girl. We simply adore amateur acts. Well, of course, I never did broach the subject with my performance partner. She was still pretty pissed off at me. And for years afterwards, I would deny the incident ever occurred. Plausible deniability. Yeah, you know, it was some sort of urban legend. Like, you know Jim Morrison and the Doors whipping out his dick in Miami? It's a form of mass hysteria. Everybody claiming to see his cock, even though he never really pulled his thing out of his pants. One time, I was going through this usual disclaimer for an inquiry audience, when some guy in the back yells, Oh, yes, you did, Big Mike. I was there, and I saw the whole thing, and I've got the photographs to prove it. Then I remembered the theater had been awash with the flash of dozens of digital cameras while I was licking my performance partner's pussy on stage. Great, great. Now, so much for plausible deniability. Those pictures must be all over the Internet by now. <laughs>